Hey guys, we're back there again for the Pokemon Mega Movie video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, join the Patreon. Let's get started. If you guys don't remember from the last one, we beat up Sydney from the Elite Four. Now we're going to take on Ghost Girl. So let's go ahead and get her done. Haha! -ha! I'm Vivi of the Elite Four. I did my training on Mount Pryor. While I trained there, I gained the ability to commune with the ghost type Pokemon. I forgot to change my team for this fight. Whoops. But the bond I developed with my Pokemon is extremely tight. Come on, just try and see if you can inflict even damage on my Pokemon. Really? If that was a requirement, I would win. You could win immediately with this person. Yeah, there's one more girl. So the other person uses Ice type. This person uses Ghost type. Dust Clops. Okay. This is relatively okay. Now, up to this point, wait, I just forgot, I could give Groudon the ability to Mega Evolve, or I guess, go to Primal Form, because if you don't know, up to this point, if you choose not to do any extra stuff, the only Pokemon you can Mega Evolve is your starter, and I just realized, I could have had Groudon be able to Mega Evolve the second, or I guess, Primal Evolve the second that he hits the field, but because I'm dumb, I forgot I could do that. So after this battle, I'm gonna give him that ability. But first off, I have to win. That being said, if the game stops confusing me at every turn. Okay, now Curse has two different abilities if you don't know. First ability. If you are a non-ghost type, it raise it lowers some stat of yours, but it raises no, it lowers your speed, but it raises your defense and attack immensely. But if you're a ghost type, it lowers your health. But every turn, I think it's every turn, you lower the opponent's health. So right now, I'm not in the best situation. But hopefully, Groudon can put me back in a situation. I don't know what type these guys are. Which is why I was... Well, I don't know what abilities they have. Dust New Arb. This thing definitely has Levitate. So I'm not even going to try using my ground type move, we're just going to use fire blast right off the bat. Using normal type moves and fighting type moves in this place is not going to help you. Just go with any move that is not of those types. He has ice punch, of course he does, but that does absolutely nothing to my thick ass Pokemon. Thick with two C's, motherfuckers. Fire blast again, it kills it with a critical hit, good. Okay. Now what? Uh, Sableye. We're gonna keep Groudon out. And we're gonna pierce past Blades. Yeah. Also, this is... Every one of the members of the Elite Four have a Pokemon that can Mega Evolve, but they only Mega Evolve it during the post-game. This is hers. Sableye. No matter which game you're playing, this will be her Pokemon that can Mega Evolve. <clears throat> so, good news is it can't Mega Evolve right here and now. Good. Because it's dead. Treaty is level 57. He wants to earn a quick guard. quick guard. No, I like the animation for it, but I hate it so much. Semi Pour is now level 38. Bayonet. Uh, I don't know if this thing has Levitate. I hope it doesn't. Because if it doesn't, that means this should hit it. Pierce Pice Blues. If you don't know what it, the Levitate ability does, just in case I haven't explained it or you just genuinely don't know, it is where. Any moves that your opponent uses that are grass type, I mean ground type against you, will not work. So any ground type move they use against you will fail. He sent, she's sending out another bayonet. So essentially, if they have levitate, you can't hurt them with ground type moves. Which is why I keep questioning it. And Groudon has dominated this fight all the way and has only leveled up once for it. But you know what? Fuck it. And that means we have enough time to do another fight. And because the Elite Four things are in order, and when I say in order, I mean where they like do the little scroll pop-up thing at the start of the fight with them, they're in order. So the next person we fight is the Ice Girl. So, yeah. What did she say? That's definitely a bond between you and your Pokemon. There's definitely a bond between you and your Pokemon, too. I didn't recognize that fact, so it's only natural that I lost. Yep, I like to see how far your bond can car will carry you. Go ahead, go move to the next room. Okay, so this next person has ice types. I'm sending in tails immediately because 
They are so annoying to an extent. You can even see it with the ice thing. This is the one person whose move, well, I guess whose type thing is clear to you without having to walk into their room or just having to know beforehand. They're the, they're the one person. So hopefully Tails can live through this. I am going to fight the person in here for it. Did my game just freeze? Okay, thank you. <laughs> I was afraid that my game froze at that moment. Okay. Here she is. The oldest out of the Elite Four members, or at least in my opinion. They get somewhat older. Welcome, my name is Gracia of the Elite Four. I've traveled from afar to Hoenn so that I may be so I may hone my ice type moves. But all I've seen are trainers are challenges by weak trainers in their Pokemon. They call me weak? I wonder what you will show me. What a relief it would be if I could, for once, see, a, see a strong opponent, I guess. I could not read that last part. Whatever. She might be a challenge. Next person. Him. He is a Dragon-type user. She is an Ice-type user. Just want to make these clear. I have nothing to go against Dragon-types besides Dual Chop, and that is a bad idea to run into immediately, so I'm not going to do that. So Ninetales versus Galilee. Both Galilee and the other ice type, I don't remember what it's called, Frostlass. They both evolve from the same Pokemon, but it's called Snow Run. But if it's a male, it evolves into Galilee. If it's a female, you use a Dawnstone on it and it evolves into Frostlass. It's basically the opposite of, um, what's it called? It's essentially the opposite of, um, uh, Psy, I guess Curlia slash. Uh, whatever the first form of it was. Also, uh, you might want to carry ethers on board. I forgot to buy those. Those are very important. As you can see, he is hailing. She is hailing. I'm not so sure what to say, but you know, that's fine. We are buffed by the hail. She is definitely going to get burned by the burn. So, Flame Burst does nothing here, which is sad. But good news is, it's about to die anyways. We're fine. Good. Tails should level up off of this. Yep. Tails is now level 45. I would keep Tails out, so I am. Just to see what other Pokemon she has. Uh, while we're in, never mind. This is an ice and... This is an ice and water type. So I would suggest bring an electric type for this one Pokemon. Which I did. It also has... An ability where either has the hail ability, or it has, um, I'm sorry, it has snowstorm ability, which brings a hail, or it has the ability, um, thick fat, which weakens moves. I think it might have thick fat. Blizzard does a one hit KO move, I want to make that clear. But, um, it either has that, or it has, um, something else relatively important that I just don't remember the name of right now. I think it's called, um, uh, what would it be called? It's, it's something that when it's hailing, like, when hail is active, it recovers health. But clearly it doesn't, because it didn't recover health from it. Good news is we still killed it, though. Semipore is level 39. We might not finish this person in this episode. Frostlass. Okay. This is very important that Tails takes it out. Because we are almost down to the very last person. And I can guarantee you that if it comes down to it, I will cheat if I have to. And when I say cheat, I mean I will legit... If I lose a fight to them, I will just turn off my game. Because I saved before all of these fights. So I will turn off my game and refight that person again. Except I will do it off screen. Unless it's like we have enough time on screen. Then I'll just do it on screen. Uh, hail. Unfortunately, my last attack missed, and I'm confused, which makes it even better. Lucky me! Oh, lucky me, too. I hit myself. And I'm faster than them. Wait, no, I'm not. I'm slower than them. So they have all of the advantage here. Ominous Wind. Great. Just what I needed the most. Another move that hates me. 
Good news is, I snapped out of my confusion just in time to fire blast them. Fire blast almost one shot them, but it burns them. Will it kill it? Yeah, it does. Woo! Frostlass is dead. Tails killed in one hit because fire blast is that broken. Uh, what's left? Frostlass again. Wow, so original. Okay, but anyways, we're gonna fire blast again. Never mind. Okay, so I want to make something clear real quickly. While off screen, my computer glitched, and you guys lost very important footage. So, if you don't know what that important footage was, it was the frost last killing my nine tails, and then my, and then I sent out Sai to kill uh, that frost last, and then now we're fighting the Galili. So you didn't miss too much, but you missed enough for it to be important. So now I'm hoping with all my fiber and, and my body and Treaty's body and all of my Pokemon's body that I can win this because we have only three minutes left in this. God damn it, you motherfucker! There was one thing I hate about this game and that it stalls. And it is annoying when it stalls when you are on a crucial time limit. Yes! Frenzy Plant kills it. Screw you, that was all of her Pokemon. That was probably not important for me to say that out loud, but about the Skippy thing, whatever. 8,000, Jesus Christ. That's so much. You and your Pokemon, how fiercely your spirit burns. My icy moves pound in the face of all, in such of all consuming flames. Advance to the next room. There, there you will learn how fearsome the Pokemon League can truly be. Okay, so I'm going to end it here. I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and to the Patreon. And I'll see you all in the next one. Don't forget to check us out.